In dystopian Poland, a star gamer sets out on a dangerous mission to access the secret level of a virtual reality war game to rescue her former team leader, whose consciousness is trapped within the game. In the near future, a growing number of young individuals turn to Avalon, an illicit and addictive virtual reality war game, to escape their mundane lives. In the game, players can choose to either embark on solo missions or join forces with others by forming parties. Success in the game translates to experience points and in-game currency, which can be exchanged for actual money, making it possible for talented players to earn a living through their gameplay. While Avalon may be alluring, it comes with inherent risks. In certain cases, higher-level players can become brain-dead. Their spirits stay inside the game, but their bodies stay vegetating in the real world. These tragic individuals are tagged as unreturned. To participate in Avalon, players must visit a game terminal and enter a special chamber where they can wear a virtual reality helmet, which immerses their senses in the game's reality. Following the disbandment of famous party, Wizard, Ash, a level 11 star player in the fighter class, is left to navigate the virtual world as a solo player. As the map data finishes loading, Ash's avatar materializes in the virtual world of the game, sporting a distinctive white streak in her hair that gave her the moniker Ash. Armed with a rifle, she finds herself in a gritty, sepia-toned virtual landscape with a task to battle against a fleet of army tanks. As a seasoned combatant, she rises to the challenge, taking down all the tanks with ease. Suddenly, the simulation transitions into a cityscape where tanks launch a devastating attack on panicked civilians. As the simulation shifts to a new map, Ash encounters other players who are also working to complete the mission. Despite the presence of other players, Ash's skill and expertise in the fighter class allow her to hop onto the tanks and manipulate the cannons to eliminate the competition, demonstrating her superiority among the other players. In a sudden turn of events, a war chopper soars through the virtual city, unleashing a barrage of mini-missiles on the civilians below. Reacting quickly, Ash transports to a nearby field where she joins forces with other players, all of whom are determined to take down the dangerous chopper. As the mission progresses, Ash strategically positions herself in an abandoned area and aims her sniper rifle at the shooting chopper. Without any team members, she utilizes the battle tank's cannon to successfully destroy the aircraft and complete the mission. Unbeknownst to the warrior, a high-level Bishop-class player observes Ash's impressive skills from a distance. Following the conclusion of the game, Ash removes her virtual reality helmet and smokes a cigarette. Unexpectedly, the Game Master materializes in front of her, commending her exceptional gameplay. Ash then requests the Game Master to charge her account for the ammunition and weapons. After praising Ash's gameplay, the Game Master proceeds to display her statistics and informs her that she needed to complete two or three more missions to reach the next level. When Ash expresses her desire to convert her accumulated points to cash, the Game Master advises her to join a party, as progressing solo could be dangerous. Despite the Game Master's advice, Ash disregards it and leaves her chamber. On her way to the terminal manager, she comes across a group of players who are watching a replay of how she completed the mission. Following this, Ash proceeds to reception to exchange her game points for cash. While waiting for her money, she notices two Cupid statues, one of which has a missing head. Upon leaving the building, Ash passes by civilians who appear to be motionless and unresponsive. On her way home, she boards a train where she finds herself surrounded by similarly silent commuters. When she reaches her apartment, she's warmly greeted by her basset hound. After feeding her furry friend, she lies down to have a snack and then swipes her game chip to check her emails, only to be disappointed by an empty inbox. The next day, as Ash passes through the common area of the game terminal, she observes a live display of a high-level player successfully completing a Class A mission, unaware that he's from the Bishop class. As she watches, she overhears other spectators commenting on the player's exceptional tactics, emphasizing that he's faster and more precise than Ash. Triggered by the comment, the solo player attempts to search for the player's data but comes up empty. As Ash arrives at her game booth, she discovers that the circuits are aren't ready, forcing her to cancel her game. She then requests the player data of the skilled player's class from the Game Master, admitting she feels challenged by his exceptional gameplay. However, the Game Master refuses to disclose any information, reminding Ash of her philosophy of only playing solo and ignoring his previous advice to join a party. In the following days, Ash persists in playing solo and earning from her game clips, until one day when she unexpectedly encounters Stunner, her former thief teammate from the disbanded wizard party, while leaving the game terminal. At the in-game cafeteria, Ash and Stunner catch up on their lives. Despite Stunner exploring different branches, he had heard rumors of Ash's impressive solo play and sought out her branch to reconnect. During their meal, Stunner brings up Murphy, their former team leader who left the group to play solo and later got trapped in the game. Stunner then reveals that Murphy had chased a non-player character known as the Ghost, who's the key to accessing the Phantom and Hidden Special A level, a dangerous field that rewards players with tons of experience points. Stunner cautions Ash about the dangers associated
associated with attempting the special mission, as players are unable to use the reset feature to escape the level, which would normally allow them to end the game without sacrificing their avatars. Afterwards, Ash visits Murphy in the hospital, only to find him in a vegetative state. As she smokes outside, she reminisces about her last mission with her former party. During that mission, Murphy had ordered the team to keep firing at a helicopter, but due to the lack of ammunition, the team communicated a need to retreat and reset. Despite the team's concerns, the leader didn't listen, emphasizing that resetting the game wasn't part of their strategy. During that critical moment, Ash found herself alone, hiding and running out of ammunition. Unbeknownst to her, the Bishop player uses his binoculars to watch her from the hospital's terrace. Before he goes back inside, he passes by a group of unreturned players who are all in a vegetative state. While at home, Ash conducts an online search about the special A level that Stunner had mentioned during their conversation at the cafeteria. As she refines her research, she comes across a reference to the Nine Sisters. When she attempts to access more information about it, she finds an image of multiple girls followed by a quote that says, Here Arthur lies, King once and King to be. After this, a text display instructs her to log in her game ID data. After swiping her data chip, she suddenly receives an invitation to wait at Field Class A, Area Ruin C66. Before wearing her virtual reality helmet, the Game Master warns Ash that the Class A is busy, and she might experience lags in game. When the player asks for more information about the Nine Sisters, the Game Master brings up Morgan Le Fay, one of the Nine Fairy Queens who rule Avalon, the legendary Isle. Morgan laid dying King Arthur on a black ship and took him over the water to Avalon, making the fairy his protector. Hearing the story, Ash comments that there's a similar story in Northern Europe, where Odin goes on a journey. His ship is wrecked and he drifts to an island far across the water, where he is rescued by Morgan and gives him a gold ring, granting him immortality. As the Game Master adds the detail about Morgan placing the crown of oblivion on Odin's head, Ash recognizes the reference immediately. This crown had the power to make Odin forget about his homeland and the world outside. Coincidentally, the virtual reality helmet that Ash puts on has a similar effect to the crown of oblivion, making her forget about the real world. When Ash enters the game and loads the map for the Field Class A Ruin C66, she meets Jill, who claims to be one of the Nine Sisters, as well as the other members of the group. However, Ash quickly realizes that they're all bad faith players, who lured her to the location to rob her of her equipment and sell her equipment data. As Jill attempts to rob Ash's equipment, Ash quickly takes advantage and restrains her by holding a pistol to her head. Ash then threatens the other members of the group, demanding information about the hidden level Special A. However, the other member reveals that only a real Nine Sister can provide information about the level, because they're the programmers of the game. Suddenly, Jill shouts Murphy, and a lagging chopper arrives on their map, terminating the players. To defend herself, Ash prepares her rifle and attempts to shoot at the chopper. But when she sees it releasing missiles in her direction, she immediately takes off her virtual reality helmet to reset the game. After taking off the helmet, she feels nauseous and throws up. She then apologizes tearfully to the Game Master for making a mess in the room, but he assures her that it's okay. Upon returning home, Ash prepares food for her dog, but realizes that her beloved pet is missing. Later, she goes to a bookstore to buy books about King Arthur, hoping to learn more about the references she encountered in the game. As she leaves the store, she's surprised by Stunner, who notices how pale she looks after the reset. Later, Stunner offers to disclose the method of meeting the ghost in Special A. During breakfast, he shares what he's learned from the other players, stating that the party must have a bishop, but not just any bishop. The bishop must be an archbishop at Class A complete, above level 12, to make the ghost appear. Afterwards, Stunner suggests that she switch from her current fighter class to bishop class to see the ghost, just like Murphy did. However, he informs her that to make the switch, she'll need double the experience points, which would require a lot of time and money. Murphy himself had to wait a long time before making the switch. After discussing the requirements to meet the ghost, Stunner says that Ash should join a party to have a backup, but also notes that finding a level 12 archbishop is rare. However, Ash suddenly leaves Stunner in the restaurant. Upon arriving home, Ash realizes that her dog hasn't returned, and his food bowl remains untouched. Shortly after, an unexpected visitor arrives at her doorstep, the high-level bishop player who recognizes her as the fighter player from the infamous wizard party. As the player examines her home, he comments on the realness of the food and thinks that her dog is lucky for eating real food. The bishop then informs her that some players in the community speculate that the reason for her party's disbandment is due to Ash ignoring her team leader's orders and forcing a reset. Upon hearing this, Ash experiences a flashback of her last gameplay with her party, when she disobeyed the leader's order to target the cockpit. As the bishop tries to comfort Ash and assures her that party disputes are common, she unexpectedly invites him to join her new six-member party with two warriors, one thief, and one mage. Before leaving, the bishop player then suggests that they continue their discussion about his class in-game, inviting Ash to meet him in Flak Tower 22 the following day at midnight. Before going in-game, Ash waits in the reception area for the high-level player. While waiting, 
morning, the terminal manager warns her about the hidden level Special A, revealing that the level doesn't exist in Avalon, and that it isn't considered a game anymore because it's impossible to clear. When Ash asks for the receptionist's true identity, the receptionist explains that Bishop scouted her too, which intrigues Ash, as she's unaware that the person she invited to form a party with was the same person who scouted the receptionist. The receptionist also explains that the Bishop has his own terminal and just shows up in the game. Despite the terminal manager's warnings to avoid the Bishop, Ash insists on meeting him because Murphy is in Special A. Hearing this, the terminal manager activates Room 9 and directs Ash there to start the game. Before she enters the game, the Game Master also warns her about Special A. After Ash asks the Game Master if he's operating from his own terminal or if he's part of the game system, he questions the significance of her query since she can't confirm his answer anyway. Upon entering Flak Tower 22, Ash finally meets the high-level player, whom she suspects to be one of the Nine Sisters. She also meets the two warriors and one mage, who turn out to be summoned dummy players. However, the player only identifies himself as a bishop and clarifies that he isn't the creator of the game, but defines his role as to ensure that players maintain a balance between the real world and the game world. As they prepare for their mission, Stunner comes in, revealing that the bishop recruited him as the party's thief. While carrying out their mission in Ruins D99, the team encounters a citadel that the bishop identifies as a formidable Class A strength opponent. However, the bishop quickly reveals that the citadel has a weak point that can be exploited. To achieve victory, the bishop devises a strategy that involves Ash flanking the citadel from behind and targeting its grill while the rest of the team distracts it. Once Ash successfully defeats the citadel, Stunner finally catches a glimpse of the ghost. However, his attempt to shoot the ghost results in him being shot by an unexpected assailant. Ash quickly responds by taking out Stunner's attacker and rushes to assist her wounded teammate, but Stunner advises Ash to pursue the ghost as it holds the key to Special A. As Stunner's avatar fades away, he discloses a shocking revelation that he was the reason behind the disbandment of the wizard party because he ran away during the mission. Following this, Ash continues her pursuit of the ghost, who runs through the walls. When the fighter reaches a desolate and dark abandoned area, she finally spots the ghost and terminates it. Seconds later, Ash is transported to the highly sought-after Special A, also known as Class Real. As she awakens from her game booth in her apartment, she notices her dog's unfinished food bowl and a peculiar brick wall outside her window. As Ash spots a box in the room, her curiosity leads her to open it, only to find a handgun inside. Suddenly, the TV flickers to life, and the bishop appears on the screen, revealing himself to be the game master. He proceeds to explain the mechanics of the hidden level, emphasizing that Ash must eliminate the unreturned to successfully complete the game. However, the bishop also reveals that Ash has been returned to a default level, stripped of all her abilities and left with just a pistol and a single clip of ammunition to fend off her enemies. The bishop cautions Ash that the neutral characters in the game are operating with free will and harming them could result in an immediate game over. Furthermore, there's no time limit and the only way to exit the game is by completing it. The bishop also offers an enticing incentive, stating that if Ash manages to complete the game safely, she'll be rewarded with the choice to become one of the game masters. Upon hearing this, Ash questions the bishop's intentions for bringing her to Special A, but he gives a vague response, stating that it's her responsibility to discover the truth. The bishop then draws Ash's attention towards an Avalon-themed concert poster behind her, and upon closer inspection, Ash recognizes that it features a photo of her beloved Basset Hound. Before wishing her luck, the bishop reveals that Ash's dog will be present at the concert. As Ash steps out of the room, she grips her pistol tightly, then scans the rows of empty game terminals and the unstaffed reception desk. However, her attention is quickly drawn away as she steps into a vibrant and bustling world, starkly different from the dangerous game level she just conquered. Overwhelmed by the surreal experience, Ash comes to a stop, taking in the lively atmosphere and the movement of people around her. Suddenly, her eyes catch sight of a pole adorned with numerous Avalon concert posters, each displaying her dog's image. Without Ash noticing, a car slows down nearby, and her Basset Hound can be seen peering out of the passenger seat window. After taking the train to the concert hall, Ash arrives at the venue and quickly spots Murphy in the crowd. As the orchestra plays, Ash and Murphy step outside, where Murphy confirms that the warrior's arrival in Class Real was because of him. As their conversation continues, Ash calls out Murphy for deserting their team and accuses him of being the one who truly caused their breakup due to his desire to venture into Class Real on his own. However, Murphy defends his choice to remain and expresses his preference for the reality within Avalon. When he attempts to shoot Ash, she responds by drawing her gun and firing back, injuring her former leader. As she approaches him, he reveals that his gun was unloaded all along and cautions her not to be misled by appearances. He says that she belongs to Avalon's reality before disappearing into thin air. After the concert comes to a close, the audience erupts in applause. 
Ash proceeds to pick up Murphy's gun and reloads it with his ammunition. Upon entering the vacant concert hall, Ash spots the ghost standing on stage. However, before she can fire her weapon, she sees a vision of the two Cupid statues, with the previously incomplete one now fully restored. As Ash points her gun at the ghost, who responds with an eerie smile, the screen abruptly displays the words, Welcome to Avalon. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.